Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Rundown. We're going to go over the MLB game scheduled for Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my $19 rundown best bet, you can find those at the premium picks tab at pickdogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Thursday in Major League Baseball. Next up, we see the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Griffin Canning and Zach Eflin are your starters. At the beginning of the season, even towards the middle of the season, the Angels hit righties very well, but now no Mike Trout in the lineup, of course, no Shohei Otani in the lineup. This team has struggled offensively, and in the last month, they're 26th in baseball in OPS against right-handed pitchers with a pretty steep strikeout rate to go with it. You're facing Zach Eflin, who in the month of September, the Rays are 3-0 in his starts. He's got a sub-4 ERA. He's pitched really well at Tropicana Field this season. The Rays have covered the run line in five of his last six starts. Give me Tampa Bay here on the run line. Griffin Canning was pitching pretty well, but his last game we saw him give up two home runs to the Detroit Tigers. The Angels are now 0-4 in his last four games, with two of the last two games losing the run line as well. So give me the Tampa Bay Rays land the one and a half runs. Next up, we see the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. We're going to see Wade Miley and Miles Michaelis on the mound. And this one, Miles Michaelis' struggles at Bush Stadium continued in his last start against the Phillies, where he gave up uh, five more earned runs in six innings and a 6-1 to Cardinals loss. It makes it a 5.48 ERA for Michaelis at home this season, which is pretty surprising pitching at Bush Stadium. But you know, he has struggled, and even though the Brewers have not had great numbers offensively against righties in the last month, I still think they get to Michaelis, and I think Wade Miley pitches well in this game. He's facing a Cardinals team that in the last 30 days is 27th in baseball and ISO against lefties and 29th in team OPS. Give me the Milwaukee Brewers here on the money line. Next up, we see the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. Jose Barrios and Garrett Cole are your starters. The Yankees might not have much to play for in terms of a postseason perspective, but this is still a franchise that has a winning record streak dating back to 1992. They haven't had a losing season since 1992, and they're right on the cusp of having a winning season this year. So I think the Yankees, you know, you know, proud franchise will look to get that done. But also Garrett Cole is, you know, pitching for an American League Cy Young. He's right now the favorite to win the Cy Young in the American League. And he's faced this Blue Jays lineup a couple of times. He hasn't given up an earned run against them this year. So he's pitched really well against Toronto. On the other side, Jose Barrios is not at his best outings against the Yankees with an ERA above four. We know Barrios throughout his career has pitched better at home. And we've seen that this season with a lower ERA at Rogers Center than on the road. I think the Yankees win this game behind Garrett Cole. Give me the Yankees. I think they play the role of spoiler here. Next up, the Atlanta Braves taking on the Washington Nationals. Max Fried and Jake Urban are your starters. I like Jake Urban. I think he's pitched pretty well in the second half of the season, but I just don't love this matchup for him at all against this very good Atlanta Braves lineup. And I know Urban's been better at home this season, but still, I mean, his last game on the road, four earned runs, two home runs. He's given up a lot of home runs this season, 20 of them in 118 innings, and you're facing the most powerful lineup in baseball. Max Fried on the other side, you know, if this was game, if this game was played more towards the middle of the season, I may say just take the over because I think the Nationals can chip in offensively. But in the last month, it just hasn't been the case against left-handed pitchers. Uh, you know, team that's overall this season hitting lefties well in the last 30 days. They're they're dead last in baseball and team OPS. Dead last in isolated power. Their team OPS is at 542. The team in 29th, the Cardinals, has a 652 team OPS, so about 100 points lower than Nationals are uh, against lefties. They just really struggled there. Very, very low walk percentage at 4.2%. Low strikeout rate as well, but Max Fried, one of the better starting pitchers in the National League. He's been even better on the road this season. Give me the Atlanta Braves laying the one and a half runs in this one. Next up, it's the Orioles and the Guardians. No official starter for the home team, but we should see Grayson Rodriguez for Baltimore. Got to take the Orioles in this game. This team's been a money machine on the road this season. It's important, especially in the last couple of weeks of the regular season, take a look at how these teams are doing profit-wise on the money line at home on the road. Baltimore this season, the most profitable road team by far, making if you bet $100 on them every single game on the money line, you'd be up over $2,700 going into Wednesday's games. Grayson Rodriguez has been better on the road himself this season, coming off one of his best starts of his career thus far. Eight innings of shutout ball, seven strikeouts against a very good Tampa Bay Rays lineup, and an 8-0 Orioles win. Give me the O's on the money line and run line here away from home. Next up, we see the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. David Peterson going for New York. No official starter for Philadelphia right now, but I am seeing Ranger Suarez listed on ESPN, so he could very well be the starter 
I talked about you know checking the profitability for teams on the at home and on the road this season. The New York Mets, the third least profitable team on the road. If you bet $100 on the Mets every game this season on the money line, you'd be down over $1,500. And doesn't bode well for him in this spot with David Peterson on the man who's also struggled on the road this season with an ERA above seven. I don't mind backing David Peterson when he's pitching at City Field. He's actually had pretty good numbers there. And we saw him last start against the Reds, even though it wasn't good enough for a win. Five and two-thirds innings, a two-earned run ball with 10 strikeouts. Pretty good stuff from Peterson, but he has just not pitched well on the road this season. The Phillies have hit lefties very well in the last month. I know Ranger Suarez is not too uh, fair too well at Citizens Bank Park this year, but I think it'll be good enough here for a Phillies win. Give me the Phillies on the money line. Next up, we see the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Chicago Cubs. Yoan Oviedo and Kyle Hendricks are your starters. Now, when you look at the season-long numbers for Hendricks, he's been better on the road this year than at Wrigley Field. But when you look at the last four starts for Hendricks at home, he's certainly improved those numbers, giving up uh, three earned runs or fewer in three of those four starts. And the Cubs won all four of those games against the Diamondbacks, a team competing in the National League wildcard race. The Giants, another one of those teams. The Brewers, a team you know ahead of them in the standings in the NL Central. And then the uh, Kansas City Royals, the worst team in the American League, one of the worst teams in the American League. But Hendricks has pitched well this year, at least as of late, at Wrigley Field. And he's also pitched well against these Pittsburgh Pirates. 12 innings of work at 2.25 ERA. Oviedo's been up and down this year, but I just don't think he's going to be good enough against this Cubs lineup in this game on the road. And the Cubs have just dominated the Pirates this season. So give me Chicago on the money line and run line at Wrigley Field. Next up, we see the Detroit Tigers taking on the Oakland Athletics. Tarek Skubal and Mason Miller are your starters. The Tigers have been one of the more profitable road teams this season, you know, similar to the Orioles. The Tigers are fourth best in baseball, returning betters over $1,300 per $100 wager on the money line. And Scruble's been sharp this year, 3.25 ERA. I think he's even better than that ERA, honestly. He's got good strikeout stuff, 84 strikeouts in 69 in the third innings. Only giving up four home runs this year. The control's been pretty good, especially as of late. And the Tigers are 3-0 in his last three starts. Two of those games were on the road. So, you know, the Oakland A's have not done well against left-handed pitching. I don't think Mason Miller's going to be good enough here for the A's to win this game. Give me the Tigers on the money, money line and run line on the road. Next up, we see the San Francisco Giants taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers, the final game for Thursday's card in Major League Baseball. No official starter for San Francisco. Could be another bullpen game for the Giants. We should see Ryan Pepio for Los Angeles. I like what I've seen from Ryan Pepio. You know, his last game against the Tigers, six innings of one run ball is a bounce back start after he struggled against San Diego. And the Dodgers are four and one in his last five starts with a couple of shutouts thrown in there as well. And when you look at the other side, San Francisco, you know, down the stretch here, you know, they're, they're not really looking great in the, in the uh, National League wildcard race, but it's going to get even tougher because they play a lot of road games down the stretch. And San Francisco's not been a good road team this season. The Giants are one of the least profitable teams in baseball if you bet them on the road this year. And also just win-loss record, 33-43 and 43 this year for San Francisco going into Thursday's games. I could go to the Los Angeles Dodgers here on the run line, land those one and a half runs. And that's it. Those are the games for Thursday in baseball. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comment section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.